Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video. Have you all of a sudden started seeing synchronistic sequences of numbers like 111, 222, 444, 666 and so on and you may be wondering like what's going on? Why all of a sudden I'm seeing the synchronicities? It's not what you think. It's not a coincidence. If you believe that everything that happens has its meaning, its purpose, this video is for you because it will help you to explain the powerful meanings and helps and insights for you on your current life's path. And what to do when you see a certain specific number. So before we start, I want to read a quick message for you, something I write down every single day as a daily inspiration for our Instagram community. You can find us on Instagram, Attract Passion. I write down these short messages and today's one goes like this. May the highest goal for you be the transformation of consciousness. So what was hard before will soon be seen as an easy task. What was challenging will soon become inspirational and what seemed impossible will be seen as potential. But most of all, be reminded that you are no better or worse than anyone else. You are simply you and that is enough. Everything else is a stepping stone in the greater discovery of what you are capable of achieving and doing for others. And if that resonates with you, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. So when it comes to numbers, the best way to start a better understanding is to go into our history and look at the ideas of ancient Greek philosopher Pythagoras, who believed that numbers had inherent qualities and vibrations that could be used to understand and explain the universe. He saw numbers as fundamental building blocks of reality and considered them to be divine and spiritual in nature. According to Pythagorean teachings, each number had a specific symbol, meaning and significance. So that's where we've started developing certain ideas and meanings behind all numbers. And if you like mystical teachings and you like meaning behind numerology, it can help us to uplift our belief systems for potential transformation we are working on. When we are working on certain manifestations, when we are dealing with challenging times, all those ideas can help us to uplift our spirit and to look for the greatest possible outcome that is meant to find us. And on my journey, I always looked at those numbers as potential signs from the universe that Every time I did something and I saw certain signs, I looked at them as feedbacks from my work, as feedbacks from my actions. So what are those different meanings? Well, when you see, I will go through the most common numbers. I often receive messages like, why all of a sudden I've started seeing that? Well, you've started seeing those numbers, firstly, because you've started ascending on vibrational level. Those numbers were around you before, but you were not seeing them until you've raised your consciousness to a certain degree where you've started noticing those uncommon numerological patterns that were around you, like every single day seeing 11, 11 on the clock, you're walking through the streets and you're seeing 888 on random doors or whatever it is. It's a sign that you've started waking up, your consciousness started awakening and that's how the universe started communicating with you. So in a sense, you've been contacted by your higher self, by that higher consciousness or higher wisdom that is guiding you through life. So the meaning behind number 111 represents that a certain new beginning is happening in your life, that you are spiritually awakening and realigning yourself to the path that is meant for you. So every time you see the number 111, you can see it as a sign 
that something new is beginning in your life, something great. It doesn't mean that challenges in your life will just disappear, but you will start to see potential solutions for your daily challenges. All challenges should be overcome by our own strength, courage and wisdom, not to be ignored or pushed away or to say, well, I'm not strong enough for this. Everything has meaning. And when you learn to tap into your inner strength and courage, you will be able to overcome whatever finds you on your path because that's how we grow, that's how we learn, and that's how we evolve. More challenging times that find us or more challenges that find us on our journey, stronger we will become. So see number 111 as a sign of new beginnings. Many new manifestations are now coming towards you. When you see number 222, it's time for you to surrender to what we call the flow of life. And see it also as a sign that many new opportunities are finding you. So let's say you are in a phase of your life where you've started your own business or your own company or you've started um, searching or looking for a new job and you've started seeing two to two. It's like a sign that you should surrender your worries because new opportunities are about to find you and keep up with your work, whatever you're doing and just surrender everything to the flow. So flow in science is explained as balance between skills and challenges. So let's say you're an artist. In order to get into the flow state and surrender your overthinking and your worries and get into the flow with creation means that you need to gain a certain amount of skills so you can paint your vision or make a song that was as an idea planted into your mind. But at the same time, you need to challenge yourself so the work you're you're doing will be a bit better than the one before. And that's how you get into the flow. It's same in anything else. Let's say you're searching for a new job. You need to make sure that the job you're searching for will help you to build up maybe greater skills that you have right now. But at the same time, it will provide you some, like something that you may be scared a little bit, but at the same time excited. So surrender to the flow and trust the process of everything that is manifesting for you. When you see number 333, it's a sign of encouragement. It's a sign that your energy is aligning. And take a time to make some big changes in your life, because now as your energy between your mind, body and spirit is aligning, as most probably we start seeing this number after we start working on certain spiritual practices, but also physical practices, like in a sense of working out, we start taking care of our bodies, vessels better, like with good nutrition, with good activities and with better sleep and spending more time in nature. Number 333 becomes as a sign of encouragement that you're doing a great thing, your energy is rising and it's time for you to, in to invest that energy now into something that is important to you. So make big changes in your life. When we see number 444, how often you see number 444? It's a sign to keep moving, that you are on the right path, that you are walking on divine path, a path that is meant for you. Release the doubts and focus on what is in your power to do, to reach that wanting destination. But know that it's all about the journey. It's all about the lessons and wonderful experiences that are finding you while walking towards where you want to be. Embrace the present moment and know that you are exactly where you need to be, that everything is exactly as it's meant to be. When you see number 555, it's a sign of that major changes are manifesting in our lives. And it's a great reminder to ask ourselves what kind of choices we are making in our 
daily lives because life is nothing else but a sequence of our choices we make on moment by moment basis so when we become a bit more aware of our choices we recognize that transformation is the product of what we do right change is the product of the change we make in taking different steps taking different actions so it's a wonderful sign to reflect a little bit what kind of changes you are applying in your life and that many results are about to find you as you see number 555 many changes are about to manifest in your life when you see number 666 it's a sign to get into a greater alignment 666 is often associated with something negative but number six is actually in numerology connected to love connected to perfection so when we're seeing number 666 it's a great reminder where we've fallen off the grace and let's recognize what kind of fears are holding us back to overcome them to reflect on them and seeing how much we are actually embracing what we are afraid of. So get into a better alignment with yourself. If you see number 666 and you may be dealing with certain challenges, don't look at it as a scary thing. Look at it as a sign. Okay, let's, let's re-examine my life and see how much can I actually improve my actions my work whatever you're doing maybe in the past you've been really uh, living a healthy lifestyle but somewhere you've fallen off the grace and it's a great reminder okay let's get back on track number 777 it's often seen as a lucky sign and it reminds us of a major breakthrough that is happening in our lives usually we start seeing it when we are in a certain phase where we are not really sure what's happening like we are working hard on something but at the same time it seems like nothing is changing and we start seeing 777 as a lucky sign that actually a breakthrough is coming so just embrace it remember that 777 is a sign of a breakthrough number 888 is as you most probably know already, a sign of abundance. When we look at number eight, it's a symbol of infinity. And infinity reminds us of infinite flow. And abundance is a state of mind. So, for example, when you go outside into the nature and you ask yourself what right now around me is or could be a symbol of abundance. You can notice abundance of trees. You can notice abundance of oxygen. You can notice abundance of all kinds of different animals. Small one, tiny one, big one, birds, cats, dogs, whatever. You may find abundance of so many different wonderful things in nature. But the thing is, we've been programmed not to notice it. We rather notice what's lacking. And that's why so many people are living in the lack state of mind. The truth is that everything is already in abundance, but we need to see abundance all around us. To increase abundance in our lives means that we need to start following our abundant ideas. We need to start thinking richer thoughts. And it, we need to start taking richer actions. The next time when you see it and when you look at your life, express gratitude for all the abundance that is already present. Don't think just about money. Think about oxygen that you breathe, water that you drink, animals that are playing around you, trees, everything. If there would be no trees, life on this planet for us would not be possible. So we need to understand that Abundance is not just money. Abundance is life. And number 888 is reminding you of life, of infinite possibilities, infinite ideas, of infinite potential. That's why I'm sharing today with you a painting of infinite potential. 
And when you see number 999, it's about the end of a chapter. Number 9 is just before 10, right? And it signifies an ending of a chapter. It's time to forgive, it's time to release the control, it's time to accept the reality as it is right now, but know that it can transform as you have a bright vision for the future. Know that you're an alchemist, but before it happens, you need to embrace what is happening. You need to learn to live in the moment, to be present with yourself and maybe just get to know yourself a little bit better. Become who you are meant to be and know that chapter of your life is ending and a new one will soon begin. Then we have three different sequences that are also really familiar, like 10-10, 11-11 and 12-12. So 10-10 represents uh, that everything is working out for you now and you're tapping into the higher purpose, let's say that way. And as you're tapping into higher purpose, you're becoming more aware of why you are here and how can you use your gifts, your uniqueness, your authenticity to help others on this planet. A wonderful sign that is reminding you that you are tapping into your purpose. Number 1111 is reminding us of a spiritual transformation of the unity that everything is connected in this life everything comes from oneness everything is connected we are all connected on this great web of life but also it's associated with manifestation which means that all possible potentials that you can think of already exist as a potential you're not separated from them as everything comes from one mind of the creator, of the source, of God, means that you're already connected to it. And all you can do is to visualize it, to feel its presence, and make sure that you do everything that is in your power to make it happen. Like if you want to be successful at something, make sure that you study people who are already successful at it, so you can recognize what are the common patterns that those people are embodying that help them to make that kind of a life. And then just practice it for yourself and keep feeling it. Keep knowing that it's already in your excess, that you don't need to change much. You just need to let go of what is not helping you to get there, like certain toxic habits, certain toxic people and limiting beliefs. Let it go and fully surrender to the vision you have for your life. And when we see 12, 12, 1, 2, 1, 2, it's a sign of removal of obstacles, of roadblocks. Many obstacles are being removed from your path. It's a numerological sign that um, your path is now being cleared, especially when you're in the phase where you're willing to do something new, but you're not really sure if that's the right thing. And you see 12, 12, it's a sign, just start. Like luck would be on your side. Just that luck is that vibration we, we tap into it. When we start working on something that is important to us with a great faith and belief into ourselves and belief into possibility rather than being limited by, by an idea that we are not capable of change. So know that you're always supported. This numbers are always this beautiful science that we are supported, that, that there is a greater intelligence kind of looking over our journey. And when we align our energy or when we face with certain challenges, this can be, you know, simple reminders to keep working on whatever truly matters to you. My friends, I hope you found something valuable in today's message. I hope you've enjoyed in today's painting, Infinite Potentials. You can find 
prints of my art in our Etsy shop. I draw my passion. The link is in the description of this video. I want to say thank you to all of you for supporting my work. You're all truly appreciated. Till next time, one love.